Well, some East Tennessee dairy producers say their farms are in jeopardy because there's currently too much milk on the market. Dean Foods recently told farmers it will stop buying milk from about 100 dairies nationwide at the end of May. Several are in East Tennessee and without a buyer for milk, farmers will be forced to sell those animals. As 10 News reporter Michael Crow tells us, it's also affecting farmers who sell to other companies. Twice a day, Brant Stukesbury finds himself here in the milking room of his family's farm in Jefferson County. But their product doesn't bring the price it used to. We're getting paid well under the cost of production. The farm has been in the family for more than 30 years, but for the last few months, they've been losing five to $6,000. It's just a tough situation. I don't, I don't know the answer for it, but I know that it's devastating several family farmers. The problem, Stukesbury says, the company that buys their milk can't afford it. Yeah, Piedmont Milk Sales, they did come and tell us that they couldn't pay what the federal order price set by the government is for our milk. And, uh, or they would, they would go under. Piedmont says it's not facing bankruptcy, but has a marketing and regulatory challenge to solve with the USDA. President Mike Jackson said businesses have to make adjustments to changing markets and landscapes. We are in communication with our farmers to ensure we have the best path forward. They're not alone in this issue. Dean Foods will stop buying from 100 producers by the end of May. In a statement, a spokesperson said, our decision was an incredibly difficult one and a step that we worked hard to avoid. Stukesbury's family joined several other farms in a letter to Representative Phil Rowe with a list of issues, including that milk price is well below the cost of production and that farmers can't control the price. It's left some worrying that without change, they might have to sell their cows to slaughter. Something that's heart-wrenching for dairy farmers because you get an attachment to these animals. In the meantime, he's building his own processing barn, hoping to sell at least some of the milk made here himself. In Jefferson County, Michael Crow, 10 News. And Phil Rowe's office says he hopes to address this in reauthorization of that farm bill. You can read his full statement on our website, WBIR.com.